hello everyone welcome to another system jones video in this video i am going to show how to create multiple ssid with separate lan and dhcp server in microtik wi-fi router microtik wireless router allow creating multiple virtual wlan interface on a physical wlan interface where we can set up virtual ap on that virtual WLAN interface. Virtual Wi-Fi AP may have separate LAN and separate DHCP server. Each virtual AP will have different SSID and different user can be connected to different SSID. For example, if you can create a virtual AP for your guest user, your guest user can be connected with this virtual AP with different SSID and different password. In my previous video, I showed how to configure a Wi-Fi AP on physical WLAN interface that is already running. And in this video, I will create another virtual AP for our guest user so that our guest user can be connected on the on that virtual ap with separate ssid and password for this first we have to create a virtual wlan interface on physical wlan interface and then we have to set up a wi-fi ap on that virtual interface and then we will create another bridge interface and then we will add that virtual WLAN interface on this bridge and then we will assign new LAN gateway IP on new bridge interface and configure netting and then we will configure DHCP server on new bridge interface so let's start it at first login my microtik wireless router with winbox software and here we have already set up a wi-fi ap with ssid is microtik ap and that is available here now we will create another virtual ap so First, we will create a security profile for our guest user. Create new one. Uh, put name and giving guest profile. Make sure dynamic keys is available. And Authentication types is WPA-PSK and WPA-2-PSK and put WPA password and then apply OK. Now we will create a virtual WLAN inter interface on this physical WLAN interface so go virtual you can change this but I am keeping the default one then go to wireless and choose AP bridge from mode and set up a new SSID I am putting my protic guest ap and master interface will be wlan1 and security profile that we have created now this profile and make sure default authenticate and default forward has been checked and click apply and ok and you can see a new virtual WLAN interface has been created under physical WLAN interface. Now, now you can see 
newly created AP is available here and we can connect with the given password but now we will create separate LAN and DSTV server for this Wi-Fi AP so first go to breeze and create a new breeze I'm giving the name guest LAN and okay now add the personal WLAN interface to this breeze so choose WLAN2 and then breeze guest LAN okay now we will assign new gateway IP on this new breeze interface so put the gateway IP and choose guest LAN breeze interface and open now we will configure netting so go to firewall and then net and create new one from source net and put new LAN block and from action choose masquerade <coughs> now we will set up DSCB server on this new breeze interface so that our guest user can be able to create and uh, get IP address, default gateway and other network parameters automatically. So DSCP server and DSCP setup on guest LAN and guest block has been selected, gateway has been selected and the uh, IP pool will be from 2 to 2 to 5 2 5 4 and dns server and default list time is 10 minutes if you want you can increase it and then setup completed now go to guest ap and connect with password connecting with guest IP and now we are successful to connect and you will find IP address has been assigned from guest LAN and now we are able to get internet connection and you will find that new device has been connected from registration tab also you will find here places and if we browse we will be able to get internet ok so this is for today thanks for watching this video if you have any query please put in comment and if you are a newcomer don't forget to subscribe to our channel bye bye